What's up guys, Nick True here, and today I wanna to talk a little bit about setting money goals. When most people realize they need to start managing their money, they start a budget. The problem is, is that they skip the most important part, which is setting those money goals on the front hand. I'm gonna show you the exact method that Hannah and I use to set our money goals. We've used this to buy an Airstream, start a new job, and take some really cool vacations. Before we jump in, I want you to understand the reason that most people start a budget but then don't ever stick to it is because they never got super clear on what they actually wanted before they got started. So how do we set a proper money goal? Let me take this to the overhead for this. Let's jump into the method that me and Hannah use for figuring out what money goals we want to set. The first step is just to take a blank sheet of paper and draw a straight line right down the center of it. And what you want to do is on the left hand side, I want you to put a list of 25 things that you want to accomplish in the next five years. These can be business, career, money, relationships, travel, uh, whatever you want to accomplish. But don't write them down in any particular order. Just brainstorm top 25 things you want to accomplish in the next five years. Okay, so the next step that you wanna do, take all 25 of those things, and now I want you to start picking out, if you could only do five of those things over the next five years, what would they be? Then I want you to go ahead and choose the next five. If you could only do five more, so you get 10 total, but you've already picked your first five. If you don't do five more, what would you do next? Okay, so now you have the top 10 things that you want to accomplish over the next five years. For instance, some of mine are travel to the Florida Keys, get into better shape, buy a home, get another dog. Some of these cost a lot of money, some of these cost no money. But it doesn't matter because you're ready for the next step. So get out a second sheet of paper, and this time, what I want you to do is take just one of those things. And you're gonna estimate how much time and money you need to actually do whatever this thing is. Let's say that I wanna do travel to the keys so now i need to estimate how much money that's going to cost me i know that it's going to be roughly 2,000 miles and i'm going to estimate that it's going to be three dollars and fifty cents a gallon so gas is seven hundred dollars then in groceries i'm going to estimate three hundred dollars we're going to probably want to buy some extra stuff i just know that so we're going to want miscellaneous souvenirs two hundred dollars we always forget things, so I'm just gonna write crap that we forget. It's another $200. Now for this trip in particular, I know that it's expensive. It can be anywhere from $100 to $140 a night for really nice coastal uh, RV camping spots. That's looking like camper fees. $1,400. We also like to eat out a lot, probably $600. Hopefully that'll be really high, but that'll give us a nice buffer. Also going to add in gifts and we're gonna end up buying maybe $200 worth of gifts. So then we're gonna add all of that up and we're gonna get $3,600 roughly to do this trip. But I also need a timeline. Well, I'd like to take this trip in the fall. So if I started saving next month, and that's gonna mean 10 months from now, and that means that I need to be saving monthly about 360 bucks. That is what I need to know for my trip to the Keys. It's gonna cost me $3,600. I wanna do it in 10 months from now, and that means I'm gonna to need to save $360 a month. Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go back to this sheet here and do exactly what I just did for all 10 of your things. And that's how you get an idea of what money goals you have. The reason that we're able to stick to a budget is because we have big goals that we want to hit. And we know that if we don't stick to the budget every single month, we're not going to be able to buy that Airstream, go on that trip. It doesn't, whatever the goal is, you're not going to be able to do it unless you set those goals on the front end. And you know, going through this process, you might figure out, hey, we can't actually do all these things that we want to do in the next couple of years. Well, unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes. So at, at that point, you either say, okay, we'll wait and we'll do this later, or what else can we cut so we can do it now? 
or how can I make more money so that we can do it now? That's pretty much the only three options you have. What do you want your life to look like? What goals do you want to hit? What do you want to do? That's it. That's it, guys. If you learned something, please hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you want to learn how to take control of your money. And remember, I can show you how to set a money goal, but I can't make you do it. The choice is yours. I'll see you all next time.